Welcome to a demo on how to create work breakdown structure in our project builder. In our last session, we saw how to create project definition. So with our project definition created, we'll go ahead to create our work breakdown structure, also known as the WBS. Okay, so WBS is a deliverable oriented breakdown of a project into smaller components. And this is to allow for easy management of the project. There are two ways in which WBS can be created in the project builder. First option is to come to the template area, drag and drop the WBS onto the project definition, or we use the right click option where we right click on the project definition, over on create and click WBS. We are then presented on the work area with a detail, information of the WBS we are supposed to create. Since the project definition is a framework for the project, it is usually advisable that your first level WBS element has the same description and code as the project definition. So we shall have PS20 demo and then we have payroll software just as the project definition and hit enter. So we can see from the structure tree that our first level WBS has been created. Now we want to go ahead to expand this project and doing so, we would want to create a WBS for requirement gathering, we want to create a WBS for designing, WBS for developing, a WBS for testing, and a WBS for installment of the software. So what we do is, since we want to create all this WBS under the payroll software, we place our CASA on payroll software, which is the first level WBS. We right click, over on create, and then click WBS. Now you are presented with the detailed information in our work area. So we shall use the code JR. And then the description would be gathering requirements. Then we hit enter. Then we could see that it is reflecting in our structure tree. And I want to go ahead to create under WBS for design. So we place our CASA on payroll software right click, create, click on WBS. So go to the same process, then we modify the code. This time we shall use DE and then give the description design. Hit enter and we realize it's created. We then want to Create under WBS, which is develop. I want to develop the software. So we then modify the code. And then this time we use DV and give it the description development. After we have developed, we would want to test the software. So we want to create a WBS 
for testing. Want to modify the code? Let's then make it TE. Then give the description test. And after we are done with testing, we would want to install the software. We would have to create under WBS for installation. And to modify the code, add IN. Then with the description, installation. Hit enter. Now we realize gathering requirement, design, development, test, and installation are on the same level. So this make them level two WBSs. So you can go ahead to create more WBS under any of this level two WBS. So under requirements gathering. I'd want to break it further into initial requirements gathering and detailed requirements gathering. So what I do is I place the KESA on gathering requirements and right click, go through the same process of creating WBS. This time we modify the code and then add IR and then give the description initial requirements. So looking at the code, IR comes after GR. So this tells us that IR is under GR. So when we hit enter now, we could see that it has formed a new level, which is now becomes a level three WBS. We want to create detail requirement gathering under the same requirements gathering. I want to modify the code and add DR and give it the description detail requirements. Hit enter. Then we can see it is created. So both initial requirements and detail requirements are level three WBS, which are under gathering requirements, which is level two WBS. So under testing, we can also go further to create a WBS and say we want it to be software testing. So by here, uh, modify the code to make it ST and give it the description soft. Oh, so you make sure it is in the right fold. All right. So you give it the description software installation or software test. Sorry, software test and then hit enter so you could see that under test we have software test and then under installation too, we can go ahead to create another wbs which is software installation so we want to modify the code add si then come to the description for and enter software installation. Create enter. So now, as we can see, we have software installation under installation. So with this, we are satisfied with the structure of our WBS. So this is how WBS 
is created. This brings us to the end of this demo. See you in our next session. Thank you.